Hi boys and girls, happy Friday. This week we've been talking about letter E. And remember, letter E is a vowel and that means it has two sounds. It has a long sound and a short sound. So today we're gonna to be doing a directed drawing of an animal that begins with letter E. So make sure you have your white piece of paper, your crayons, your pencil, and your black marker. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So remember first we need to um, draw the picture with our pencil. So today, this is the first time we're doing this, your paper is going to be horizontal, okay? So usually it looks like this, vertical, but um, now it um, is gonna be horizontal for this week. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of be in the middle of the page and we are going to um, do kind of a big circle, but not too big, and we're gonna do that in the middle okay now if you need to erase that's fine <clears throat> but do not enclose that circle okay we're gonna leave that open for now so we're gonna leave it just like that next we're going to draw um, the eyes so two ovals up here at the top Make sure they're about the same size, just like that. Next, we are going to draw a trunk, okay? So this is kind of tricky. You're gonna draw the mouth, you're gonna come down, you're gonna connect it to the outside of the circle. You're gonna bring it out and then bring it down here all the way. So if you know what this is um, and you guessed an elephant, you are correct. So then we're gonna draw the other side of the trunk. Round it out like here. And then we're going to draw the tip. Okay, just like that. All right, so next, elephants have huge ears. Okay, so we need to draw two ears. All right, here we go. They kind of look like butterfly wings. Okay, so you're going to try to do the same thing on this side. Just like that. All right, so let's um, add a few little details. We're going to do kind of a smiley face. He is grinning. Um, and then we're going to do some parts to his eyes, maybe some eyebrows. He is a happy elephant. Two little marks in his eyes like that. And then we're gonna draw some marks on his um, trunk. So just a few marks. So I'm gonna go all the way down his trunk. And then we are finished. So that was quick and easy. Um, go ahead and you may now get your black marker out and you're going to trace all of um, your pencil marks okay so quickly go through this now i don't know about you but if you've ever seen an elephant they are absolutely huge um i have only seen an elephant at the zoo and you may have been to this zoo before, um, but I've only been to the Louisville Zoo, and um, that's kind of far away from here. It's about three hours away. Um, I plan on going to the St. Louis Zoo this summer. I think that would be very neat. I've never been there. Um, I just recently went to the Louisville Zoo, and I took my daughter, and she loved it. She loved, I think her favorite animal were the seals. She liked to watch them swim. So if you have ever seen an elephant, have you seen it at the zoo or have you seen it out in the wild? And I think I, think I remember whenever I went to Disney World, there was a safari tour and I got to see an elephant out there too. It was only for a brief little minute. Okay. 
Make sure you're holding your paper um, with your non-dominant hand. So your dominant hand is the one that you write with. So it may be your left or it may be your right. But sometimes if you hold it and give it a little bit of extra structure, it won't move away from you when you're tracing. Now today we're just going to write the word elephant because it's kind of hard. We don't have a lot of room to write a full sentence. Um, so at the bottom, we're just going to spell out elephant. Like that. And then you are going to get out just your gray crown. If you have a gray, if you don't have a gray and you have a black, you can use your black crown and color in very, very lightly. Okay, the tip of his trunk, we're going to color that red. And then we're just going to quickly take our gray crown. Because when we color um, our directed drawings, most of the time we try to do them the same exact color they would be in real life. Okay. I'm so glad that you guys are loving these directed drawings. You are getting so good at them. So amazing to see the progress that you guys have done since we began these. Since the elephant is just one color, it's super quick and easy for us to color it. So we want to make sure when we get close to those lines um, that we're being super slow and staying inside the lines that we need to stay inside of. So if you have ever seen an elephant in person and you want to tell me about it, when you turn in your elephant directed drawing, you can record yourself telling me about the time that you have seen an elephant. I would love to hear. Sometimes boys and girls, um, our crowns, um, we've used our crown so much that we have to tear some of this um, paper off. So if you need a grown-up to help you do that, go and ask them. But if you can do it by yourself, you can do that too. <clears throat> Remember, if you need to pause the video, you can do that. This one was a bit quicker than most of our other ones. See, I got a little, a little too quick. Got outside of the lines just a little bit. All right, boys and girls, we are almost finished. When you get finished, be sure you take a picture and turn it in for our seesaw assignment. I cannot wait to see them. Good luck. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.